it, let's start with the I'll start with the SMP and then I'll switch to the DXY. Is this recording? Yes, it is recording. Okay, so I'll start with the SMP and then switch to the DXY. The SMP hasn't opened yet. It opens at New York time, um, I think nine thirty, which is two thirty four at the UK. So um, when we finish Friday in a particular direction, Monday generally continues that direction. Um, it, for crypto, because crypto is open 24-7, uh, if we finish Friday in a particular direction, Saturday continues that direction, Sunday reverses, and Monday continues that direction. Um, and I'll show, you, I'll show you what I mean on a daily ETH chart. So Friday finished on a lift. Um, oh no, that's the weekly. I was like, what's going on here? Friday finished on a lift. Uh, this was Friday, yes. Uh, Saturday continued the lift. Sunday reversed it and gave us a drop. And then at the end of uh, Sunday, generally, yesterday the move happened earlier than I expected. Generally, it happens around 9 p.m. UK time. It happened a lot earlier yesterday, but it's the same Saturday, uh, Sunday in the afternoon. The, the reverse happens. So during the day we have one trend which was down and then in the evening it reverses. Um, that is the general move of the market. There are times when it doesn't happen like that but most often than not by, by my observation I, um, I've, seen it, I've seen it do that. Um, I, was, I was in a short, there, there's my, there I want to show you what I did yesterday just trading wise I was in a short on XRP I got in at this double top um, no this double top formation where was it I'm always terrible with the with the hours here here's where I got in I got in here on Saturday because I realized this this is how this is how Friday finished. This was the Friday US. Here's where Friday finished. Saturday continued like this for the first half of the day. Then it started, uh, it topped out and then it started reversing. And I was looking for this target here. That was my target from this ascending wedge that it had fallen out of. And uh, once I saw, once I saw the 15 minute here, here's, here's, here was my red flag. When it did this drop and it didn't break the previous low, I put a divergence line and I took my profit here above the previous high. And I'm only showing you this because of the nature that of the space that we're in. Um, it is very tricky. It is very tricky to to trade right now because we're in a smaller and a smaller space. Uh, the recent move, the recent move in Bitcoin and Ethereum might have extended the range, and I'll show you what I mean in a bit. But what I, what I, the message I'm trying to to tell you first and foremost is when you see a reversal on the one hour. 15 minute would be the, the first red flag, the one hour would be the confirmation. Once I saw this hour close with a higher low, to me it was a massive red flag. I put the, I put the divergence line here and you can see once it broke it, it went straight up, no coming back. It did come back eventually, so I would have taken the same profit here had I waited, but I wasn't willing to wait for this to see what happens. It's better to get paid than to be stop lost out because I had a stop loss. I had a two percent stop loss right above here, and it would have knocked me out here. And I'm not willing to do bigger stop losses now because, again, I told you it's very treacherous, and um, I'd, I'd like to see this take a position. I'd like to see this take a particular direction above or below the twenty. EMA on the daily so that we know where our trend is. Okay, now that's the first message for today from me to you, get paid. Get paid, wait for another entry. Um, now looking at the S&P, the S&P finished on Friday by holding the 20 uh, MA, the midline of the Bollinger. 
once it holds the midline, it's likely to go up. And it's not only likely to go up because it's holding the midline here, it's also um, facing the midline of this descending wedge, the center line of this descending wedge. And to me, it looks like Monday will be an update. Today will be an update for the S&P. Uh, the stochastic on the daily looks like it's gonna head up, uh, looks like it's gonna move, continue to move up. It's not, it is, it is um, in the over, in the overbought area, but it hasn't yet reached the max. So it still has a little bit of space to go. And I believe that today could, could be the day when it does that. Um, I don't know how long this uptrend will continue. We'll have to see and compare to what it does to uh, the weekly chart as well, the weekly formation. So once it breaks this midline, the midline of the weekly will be the one that we have in mind. Now, um, uh, we must not forget that on, on the, on the S&P, on the weekly chart, we have a bullish divergence. And I know the fundamentals are horrible right now, like what's going on in the world and the crisis and the inflation and everything, you know, seems to spell out doom and gloom. But on the S&P, we have a bullish divergence with this lower low here, but momentum going up. Like, look at this. This couldn't be any clearer. And also it's come all the way from this space. So it came down and this looks like it wants to head up. So on the daily, we have this bullish divergence that we need to, to pay attention to. Because if the S&P goes up, uh, crypto will follow as well. I know it's not a 100% inverse correlation. It's like 70% to 30%. I've rarely seen it not follow. Um, unless there is particular bad news about crypto, I don't see why crypto won't follow and go up. Now I'm going to change here to the DXY because the DXY is in movement as we speak. Okay, now the DXY is on the weekly, uh, on the weekly has turned down. So the, uh, the, the, um, The bullish divergence on the stock, on the stocks on the the S and P uh, is confirmed also by a bearish divergence on the DXY. If we have a look at these, this is the peak. This is the peak here. This is the peak here. Uh, momentum um, price action goes up. Price action levels because this is not price action levels go up, but momentum is going down. The stochastic on the weekly is going down. It looks like the, the DXY is preparing for a huge drop on the weekly. Now, what we need to take uh, into account is that the weekly chart has its own timeline. So uh, um, what that means is actions or directions on the weekly chart uh, are done in weeks uh, and and I know it's self explanatory it's 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 like yeah of course but uh, we can't as traders the weekly chart is great for a general direction but if we're looking at the 15 minute or the 1 hour trades the weekly chart is not necessarily our indication uh, the daily chart the 4 hour chart for the DXY are the ones that we can use more um, more frequently and also more accurately to give us the direction of the trades now the DXY has been incredibly volatile. Price action has been incredibly volatile in crypto as well. So they 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 went they they went hand in hand in terms of volatility. Uh, but we still have um, how can I say? As long as we're watching the 15 minute signals accurately and we are real about what's going on, because. Um, what I'm avoiding most at this time of breakout is a bias. I used to have a bias and this time I chose to put my bias down and to look at what's happening, the real signals, the real um, um, 15 minute reversal uh, or the one hour reversal or the four hour reversal. I want to be real about what what's going on there. And also I choose to get paid for every, every trade this time. So as long as we're not having a 
a range, a breakout range for Ethereum and, uh, and Bitcoin. I choose to get paid for every trade and then wait for another entry. I take my profit, I move the stop loss, I secure profit, and then I wait for the next entry. Could I miss a big breakout? Yes, I could, but I'm willing to do that as long as I'm getting paid for each trade. I'll wait patiently for the next entry. Um, okay, so uh, the, the DXY looks like it's holding below the midline on the daily. The stochastic has crossed down on the daily, so that means the direction is likely to go down. If the DXY goes down, crypto goes up. So today it looks like we are confirm, uh, confirmed to go down. And I, I have my doubts when I say that because it's so close. It's so close to the midline. That's the danger of, of where we are right now, and that's why I choose to get paid for every trade, because it could reverse in literally a flicker, like in a second, in a minute. In a 15-minute candle, it could reverse. It could gain support on the daily, and once it gains support on the daily, it's it, the, the narrative changes. And I know it sounds dramatic, but that's the breakout space. It has a drama of its own. Uh, the four-hour... The four hour has crossed up here and it's trying to get to the midline and that's what I that's what I'm 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 uh, most mindful about because if the four hour manages to get above the midline uh, the midline is at 112646 midline here 112 457 so it's a little bit lower so if the four hour money not the four day the four hour. if the four hour manages to get above the midline the stochastic on the four hour will continue its momentum and it will be heading up um and an up for the dxy means a drop for crypto unfortunately that's how close we are. Um, that's how close we are now. That's that's a general context. So, long story short, you know, I like to summarize it. It looks like today will be an up day. Um, we need to confirm if today is gonna. Uh, if uh, we need to watch for confirmations of the uptrend continuing, an update does not mean a change to an uptrend. That uptrend needs to be confirmed by at least two days of going up and two days of holding support on major MAs on the daily. So that's the, the technical definition. Because we are in breakout spaces, we need to know technically where we are. And one of my favorite YouTubers, Benjamin Cohen, he always says, being technically right is the only way of being right. So <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, uh, that's the truth of it. Now, Let's go into the daily levels and I'll start with Ethereum because Ethereum is clearer, it's easier to explain, it has nicer levels to explain. Here we are breaking out of this triangle. It looks like a perfect breakout. It looks like a perfect breakout because we've broken this divergence line here. Even on the daily, if I'm to really be super duper clear about it, I'll put it like this to have as many touch points, two touch points and two strike throughs. I think that's it. So super nice divergence line. We broke through it, came back down. Uh, we are still holding the 20. Here's the 20 where my uh, the green line is slightly above it. I'll move it to the 20. 20. And here we are holding, holding this divergence line. We haven't on back test came back um, we haven't come back below it so we're still holding it for support if we change to the four hour I was I was showing Roy this uh, earlier on if we change to the four hour here is the four hour candle at the moment if we and it is Uh, it's done a higher high here, which is great. Um, we have the crossing of the MAs on the 4-hour, so the, the 20 MA has crossed up. 
but I'm I'm still a little bit mindful because the stochastic is heading down. So with the stochastic heading down, we've yet to see what's uh, what's happening here. So we need to see the stochastic on the four hour leveling out and then crossing upwards. And first and foremost, we need to see this uh, candle maintain its greenness. We need to see it stay green. Um, here, here's the here's the chart that I, I'm looking for for confirmation and invalidation, and this is the chart where I'm gonna I'm gonna um, chart uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna map out the levels for for the confirmation and the invalidation. So um, we have. As much as it looks like we've we've broken out on the daily because we've broken this divergence line and as much as it looks like we're holding the support on the four hours so this line of support is being held there is an additional level that we need to break through to have this confirmed and the reason why I'm saying that is very simple because um, sometimes more often than not what the coins do is in the final stages of the breakout here at the apex of the breakout they widen the range and this is the MMs the market makers actually uh, choosing to expand the range for the future breakout so here here's where we are right now on the daily and as you can see there is a clear level of resistance to break through um, above where we are right now. So the 1370, we broke the 1330, 1350, and here it is the next one. And it is confirmed. It is confirmed by our purple box here. So this is the purple box of confirmation and invalidation. Here's where we got, we have, because I, uh, the, 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 the confusing thing about levels uh, now is we have levels within levels so there's a level here that it broke and it's holding which is great and there's another level here that it got rejected at and there's another level here that it needs to break through so there there is there is the the previous high here to me is essential to break so we need to see for this to be confirmed and i'll show you what i mean on the on the daily it's it, i i love this part of ta because it's um it it keeps me on my toes i'm like what's gonna happen this this could be a giant beautiful w formation on the daily and in order for this W formation, just like any other W formation to be confirmed, what we need to do is to see this little peak in the middle break. And this would be the lift up. And, and again, uh, that lift up has uh, a couple of levels for targets and I'll show you the levels for targets as we go through them, I'll, um, as we go through the, through the, to the, through the move upwards I'll show you but what we need to see for this lift to be confirmed is the breaking of this middle high this this middle high needs to break once this breaks this is confirmed as an accumulation W heading upwards happy days we're going up and don't worry again I'm, 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 I'm saying this I, and I again I take all the blame for being repetitive I'm broken record that's okay it doesn't matter as long as you guys are trading well and making profit I'm happy so even if you miss this let it play out wait for a 15 minute or a one hour topping out situation wait for it to come down and on the down because the uptrend is confirmed go up and follow it upwards so there's no point jumping in on a green candle like this because this is what's going to happen. So allow allow the green candle to play out, allow the green candle to, to top out and go in on the back test. And that back test is generally quite 
um, quite repetitive. So it either backtests the 20 EMA on the one hour, it backtests the 55 EMA on the one hour, do a short tight stop loss above the previous low, even if you get stop lost out a couple of times, it's worth it because you're going to keep a super tight um, a super tight range. And keeping that super tight range means um, you can go in and out a couple of times and catch the trend. Um, now, on the daily levels, we are, because um, I want to talk about the, the daily first and, and then I'll talk about the general validation and invalidation. On the daily levels, we are keeping the M2 and we are above the pivot point, which means that most likely we're going to head up to the M4. What might stop it is the high average daily range at 1380. That's not a good thing if it stops at 1380 because 1380 is our uh, is our box here, 1390, 1380. So if it stops here today, that's not necessarily a good thing because we'd like to see it break above this and then when it tops out on the on the retracement downwards, it holds this level for the up. So it looks like today might be a day for a lift. If you've missed this entry, don't worry, because New York might put another leg down. This is generally what New York likes to do. It likes to put another leg down. Um, if you see it, for instance, from here, heading down, um, you can watch it and a New York opening, follow it up. Um, it looks, it, uh, but we need to hold in. We need to hold the M2. So we need to hold the M2 for the um, lift for the lift to be confirmed. Because if we break the pivot point and if we break the M2, then M1 is the next level. So this no longer looks like a lift. This looks like this was a. Let me check to see if are, were, were Sydney and Tokyo on the same level, like a double top formation and then um, maybe an A, B, C correction downwards. So we, we have to see that M2 holding as a level. If it doesn't hold, it's not okay. Um, okay, so uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay, um, let, me, let me go back to this line. Okay, now, um, Going back to the daily validation and invalidation line, um, I want to make this a little bit more simple for you to follow. The validation, the first, the first level of validation of the W would be breaking this high. Let me write here. Validation of the W. Okay, okay, so I'm going to remove this line because I don't think this line is uh, of interest anymore. We've broken through it, we're holding it. The next point that we need to make sure we break through is this one. So this would confirm, it once we break above it, this would confirm the W on the daily. And I will make the W like this. You can clearly see that it is a bullish divergence W on the daily. And the target would, the most likely target would be somewhere around here. Because that would be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to measure it as well. Just to be technically correct and not take it only eye level. Eye level is there. You take the second leg of the W. 
you put it at here ah I was almost almost 30 30 dollars 30 dollars off so I'm gonna extend this over to here okay so we break this line we are in a beautiful W accumulation pattern um, and we are heading upwards towards the 16 1600 now the road to the 1600 won't be uh, I don't think it will be a, a straight 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 up lift it's it would be a 17 18 percent lift so that will happen in waves as well so don't worry if you miss the first wave when it breaks this don't worry it will generally back test this line as well so the way it back tested this 20 ema the the same way it's it's going to back test this and hold it well this it hadn't it hasn't back tested the 20 ema but it back tested the the trend line now the invalidation of this accumulation structure let's color coordinate here perfect now it's clear as day the invalidation of this would be breaking back below the 20 and yes we are in a oh. so if we don't hold for, for this lift to happen it is essential and I cannot stress this enough. It is essential to hold the 20 EMA on the daily. The 20 EMA on the daily confirms that the lift is happening, that the trend is going up. If we break below the 20 EMA on the daily, it's not good. This, this has all been a fake out out of this and then we're heading down. Because we are still in this sideways, we are still in this sideways space. Technically, I know it looks like, oh wow, we're breaking up. Yes, it does look like that. But if you, if you zoom out and check the whole pattern formation here, this is the sideways space that we've been moving in since the 19th of September. So we still haven't broken upwards or downwards. But if we do, if the, the way we've done this lift here if we don't hold support that means we are heading down this was a big fake out on the way down the way the stochastic is pointing now on the four hour so this would be the invalidation Is invalidated there we go so here here we are with the validation of the upward move and with the invalidation of it um, when when we break below this 20 on the daily to me that is um, a signal to go short again I would be looking for a, a source of because this will break and this will retrace up so everything goes up and down in waves it uh, where is here uh, perfect here it broke it it retraced up it held below it and then comes down please don't jump in on the big green up on the big red candle downwards if you see a big red candle downwards allow the day to finish and then watch for a back test watch for the signals on the 15 minute to be in line with your move so this candle this red candle most likely brought the 15 minute down floored the 15 minute floor the one hour wait for the one hour and the 15 minute to go up again to the top you know that the trend is down because you've broken below the 20 ma you go in on this candle and you put your stop loss very tightly above the previous high in that swing and you follow it down 
resist. I know it's hard and I know you will do it at some point. You will go in on the big green candle. You will, you will go in on the big red candle. That happens to all of us. We need to go through it. It's a, it's a rite of passage. It's getting to know our FOMO. That's when our FOMO comes to the fore and you're like, oh, here's my FOMO. Oh, this is me in FOMO mode. You need to know how you are like that as well, because when you will increase the, 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 your trading amount and your trading capital, you need to know when you need to be very familiar with that feeling so as not to let it control you when it comes in, because it's a normal, natural feeling. So uh, again, as much as I tell you to avoid it, I know you'll do it. And I know you have to observe yourself doing it a couple of times. But now, even if you go in on that big green, on that big red candle, you will still please use a stop loss. So if you, for instance, if you look at, let me see a big red candle that breaks uh, this one. So let's say you go in on this candle and you put a stop loss here. This stop loss here, because you're going in on this one, will be quite hefty. It, it would be probably about 50%. Please use it. Don't, don't worry if it's 50%. You don't want this to be a fake out. A fake out will cost you 100%. Um, if you were to go in on this, on the back test here, and put a stop loss again above here, it will still cost you, it would still cost you 50-60%, but it's more, you're more probable not to have your stop loss tested here on back test than somewhere around here. Um, so whatever you do, please use a stop loss these I would say constantly because of where we are the high volatility space so if we break below the 20 with a big red candle don't jump in on the red candle wait wait for the back test that's what I want to say now long story short for ETH because I don't want to keep you super long today we are above the 20 EMA, we are holding the back test, we seem to be going up, the DXY and the S&P seem to be backing up an upwards move on Monday, today. I don't know if that's going to be, uh, if that's going to be sustainable. Uh, I'm still waiting for this W formation to be confirmed. I had my first confirmation when we broke out of this, had my second confirmation when the EMAs on the four hour crossed. What I need to see right now is the breaking of the previous high. If we don't break the previous high sooner rather than later, which is today, if we don't break the previous high the way we didn't break it here, we're not confirming the W and we're not heading up. It's as simple as that. And that means, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world and it doesn't mean that we're not going up ever. It just means we are trapped in this sideways for a little longer. And I, I think if, if, I'm, if I'm to look at the uh, swings, I won't take this swing into account. I'll take this swing. One, two, three, four, five, six. By my count, this is done and it's, we should be breaking out. We should be breaking this peak formation there. Um, the swings are done, but I have seen Bitcoin do seven, seven and eight swings sideways. I don't see any reason why Ethereum won't extend that. The real answer is in what's going to happen today. Today is a big day. If we break this previous high and we confirm the W formation, happy days. If we don't break this previous high, I'll show you the opposite. The opposite would be this would be turning into, ta-da, you've guessed it, an M formation down. So that's 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 the danger of where we are right now. And we need to we need to keep an eye on the charts. I don't have the answer. I wish I did. Wish I had a big crystal ball and tell you, oh, we're heading this way. The weekly, the weekly shows down. I have a feeling this is gonna go down, but I, I'm not trading on a feeling I have. I'm trading on the, on the signals. And again, I'm getting paid for every trade, whether I take 
20, 30 or 40%, I'm happy with that. And then I'm waiting for the next move. And I need three yeses before I go into a trade. I need bullish divergences. I need my uh, trend lines crossed. I need my support held. Okay. Um, teacher mode activated. <laughs> Let's switch to Bitcoin. I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, switching to Bitcoin, we have a similar situation. The similar situation is, look at this beautiful break. Look at this beautiful back test. Like if I zoom in on this wonderful screen, boy, it has an amazing screen. Look at this. Look at this 280 precision, German precision here. Um, what we have here is... Uh, a confirmed breakout um, we are holding let me see where it is we are holding the 20 we are holding the 20 EMA on the daily there it is there it is right where the green line is here if I take this green line here now Bitcoin is a little bit farther away from um, from the confirmation of this W on the daily um, the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, you saw how close Ethereum was. If I am to measure it from where we are right now to the previous, it's 2.6 uh, 2.7 percent. So we need a 2.7 lift today to confirm that W formation for Bitcoin. That would be, let me put a path, uh, this looks a lot, a lot harder to define because this has, I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take this swing from here. And I will, uh, and then I'm going to take the bigger swing and show you guys, there we go. Um, okay, and then and then I'm gonna take this swing here, and this is the second W that is making my life a little bit more complicated. So uh, I'll put this here. Which one is lower? I think this is lower there. So as you can see, we have. We have on the daily, we have two W's. We have two possible W accumulation structures forming. None of them has been confirmed yet. So um, we need confirmation. We are holding the 20 MA on the daily, happy days. The stochastic on the daily, the MACD on the daily are going up. Yes, that's true. We have indicators that show us a, 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 a trend lift upwards. But we still need to break the previous high at 25k to get to 31 and that's the bigger picture and immediately i'm going to remove this because it, it's interfering with my there we go with my attention uh, more immediately we need to break this high here to confirm this w pattern on the daily we break this high here at 20,500, which is my favorite number for bitcoin we break the 20,500 we are looking for a lift up to 25k the next level to break would be 22.8 here we have levels we have intermediate levels of um of resistance and we need to see price action move through them and i i don't anticipate it's going to be easy i i think we'll have a couple of big green candles but then we'll have retraces pushing down we need to we need to hold the 20 EMA, needless to say. We need to hold it for the trend to be confirmed. And then we need to see this, <laughs> this middle peak break. Okay. And uh, Ethereum's was at uh, 2.7. Bitcoin's is at 5.7. So Bitcoin's a little bit more in... Um, in, in the drop with this so we need to we need we would need sooner rather than later we would need a big lift we would need a big lift to this peak 
And once we're above it, this W formation is confirmed, and then we go Moon Boy mode activated, and we're like, yay, 225, yay, 230K. Because this accumulation pattern did not happen for nothing. And then once we break the previous peak here, we're off to the races with a bigger W formation. So it's a W formation within a W formation, um, and we're, we're looking to go up. Now, the invalidation is quite close, similarly to Ethereum's case, similarly to Ethereum's mode. The invalidation is uh, breaking below the 20 EMA on the daily. And by breaking below, I'm not talking about this backtest confirmation because you see, Bitcoin's doing a little bit more of a solid backtest of the 20. It, it came down to it and now it is above it. So technically it's still holding above it. When we if we if we close today below this and again there will be a back test to it and that back test doesn't manage to break it that would be the invalidation to the down and both scenarios are still are still possible because again if we're looking at the weekly the weekly is um was with a little bit more gusto no but now the weekly is the weekly is looking to cross upwards which would be fantastic for the lift it would be absolutely fantastic and again please don't worry that you've missed the boat you haven't missed the boat this is this is what this this is perfectly normal for where we are right now we are right here slightly moving out of the apex and again if we're looking in uh, at this accumulation the way we're looking at Ethereum's accumulation, this is where we are. We haven't we haven't yet broken we haven't yet broken our resistance. We haven't confirmed the local resistance. Have we broken out of the divergence line? Absolutely, we have. Have we backtested? I'll take this as a back test. Like it's a four hour chart. I'll take this as a back test. I won't be super duper picky about it. As long as it's holding the MAs, I'm happy. Now the stochastic on the four hour is pushing down. I don't I'm not I'm not mad about it. The the RSI is going up. Generally that means more sideways. <laughs> when we have conflicting signals from the oscillators, that generally results in more sideways. But we do need to see this line of resistance turned into support um, and i'm sorry that the story is not more simple today but that's where we are so just to summarize it um i'm gonna be very clear about the daily levels this is what i'm watching as the trendsetter level the daily levels are essential we need to know we, where we are in the big picture whether you're trading the 15 minute or the one hour or the four hour you need to know where the daily is Okay, so, okay, super, 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 super. So, breaking the previous high validates the W accumulation pattern and here we are right here right here right here And for Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is closer to breaking the 20 EMA downwards, it's closing today. So if we close today below the 20 EMA, that invalidates the lift.
Okay. I'm, uh, I don't want to, I actually know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to make this slightly less visible because this is a, this is a divergence line. Okay. Okay. So this would be our formation. Uh, we would have level one, level two, level three, going up to here. First level would be 20, 20, 25. Breaking this, we would be looking at breaking this and this turning into a massive W formation, which would be very juicy. But again, because of where we are, we we have. That's why I wanted to have this. I'm I'm gonna edit this session straight after because of where we are right now we need to be mindful that we still haven't broken above the previous support and resistance so this would be it this would be it here so we are meeting resistance locally and we're not breaking through it so could this be a fake out on the way down yes absolutely it could is this confirmed as a fake out not yet um, we need to see how today is going to close to see if this has been a fake out or not. If you got a position here for a short, you can put a tight stop loss above it. So if you had, a, I think Lee had a, um, I don't know who's, I know JD, let me, let me check, let me check, let me check who's here. Uh, let me see. Lee is here. Perfect. So if you have, if you have, a, a, you said you had a short in at nine nineteen five hundred, uh, and if you if you put a stop loss above the previous high, um, you can you can let it do its thing on its way down because today is very much in the middle. As much as we have confirmed above the twenty and we closed above the twenty, uh, we need to have two days closing above the twenty for the trend line for the trend to continue upwards and we have seen this repeatedly being a fake out because of the nature of the accumulation of where we are so we need to see this confirm as a lift um, otherwise it's it's just another swing in our sideways channel it is still another swing up to here and then down to here and then moving downwards. Now let me change this to the four hour because I want to see how clear this divergence line is. And again the stochastic on the four hour heading down I'm not taking that lightly at all because that generally has this is quite a strong divergence line and we're holding above it. Yeah so I'm not taking this stochastic signal very lightly. It's not good that it is pushing down for the lift. Um, as long as we don't close um, below the 20, the lift is still valid though. Because I'm, I'm, I'm mindful of, um, I'm mindful of not sounding confusing, but also giving you the two sides of the story where we are because if I were looking at this as a 15 minute pattern, if this were a 15, 15 minute trading <laughs> is, uh, is, is, is one of my specialties. I'm very sensitive to uh, reversal patterns. And if this were a 15 minute pattern, I would say this is a reversal pattern heading up. But I would still put a stop loss below this or below this to be tighter because even if it, if it breaks this one chances are it's gonna head um, lower I would put a stop loss before this and then follow it up um, but this would be my big confirmation for the W there are traders that would only trade the breaking of this to up so that they have the um, the W pattern confirmed otherwise does it look like a fake out? Absolutely, it does. Um, if we're not moving on from where we are, if we're closing below the 20 EMA, uh, it's not good. It's not good for the lift. And again, it is good for us because if we do have that signal to follow it down, happy days. And if you've entered a trade here at the um, 19500 or here at this double top formation, 
just allow allow it to come down and follow it down and and unless you see some strong reversal on the 15 minute happening um, I wouldn't I wouldn't take profit because it looks like it wants to push down some more uh, New York also likes to put another leg down so uh, the way we let me let me go to traders reality and see where we are on the on the daily levels that would be my last check-in okay um, yeah on the daily levels the positive thing would be that we're holding the psychological high um, and we are holding uh, above the M2 so we have two levels of support here well actually we have we have four levels of support but I'd say the 200 EMA and the psychological high are uh, in and around the same space and then the M2 and the 50 EMA are in are in and around the same space as well so two levels two big levels so as long as New York holds these two levels and puts another leg down again the upward trend still holds if it continues upwards if if the psychological high breaks and the M2 breaks, I doubt we'll see uh, more upwards movement. I'm pretty sure we'll come down because that means on the daily, the 20 EMA is breaking and that changes the narrative back again. And I know it's yo-yo time now, but that's where we are. This is how close we are to a real move. Um, again, I know this looks like a beautiful triangle on the daily, but it might just be opening the range and continuing in that mm, sideways. Where's the, where's my sideways channel? That's not my sideways channel. I think this is my sideways channel. Yes, there it is. So I know it looks like we are we're we're going somewhere because we've broken out of this, but it's still. This, this this line here, we need to break above it, we need to come from above it. That's it. I, I don't want to repeat the same thing because I know you guys know what I'm talking about and um, I don't want to sound like I'm over explaining it. That's it. That's it from me today. I'll be posting the daily levels of validation and validation for this lift because this is what's going on today. and. We're going to have another look at it tomorrow morning and see where we are tomorrow morning. And if you are unsure, again, you're not hurting your capital if you're staying out of this move and allowing it to play out and then go in as it plays out on your three yeses on the 15 minute on the or the one hour, depending on what the time frame that you're trading on is. If you're trading the one hour, you're using the signals of, on the 15 minute, the four hour, you're using the signals on the hour. So wait for those three yeses for a trade entry to be confirmed because it's not enough just knowing the trend. You need to zoom in and have uh, a good entry as well. That's it for me. Have a beautiful day trading. Um, I'll be posting these and please let me know if you have any questions in the chats um, and any sort of ideas that you might have as well.